Welcome to the Three Retro Movie Geek Podcast with me, Rob Taylor. Me, Scott Willem. Me, Paul Constable. <laughs> What's that? Welcome to the Three Retro Movie Geeks Podcast with me, Rob, the Truffle Shuffle Taylor. And me, Scott, I ain't got time to bleed with them. And me, Paul, Save Cocktail Constable. And we're going to be talking about 80s and 90s movies from our childhood. The greatest cinema era ever. Okay, welcome everybody to the Three Retro Movie Geeks end of series quiz. And of course, for me, that was thank you very much. Okay, so joining Scott is one of our listeners called Kim, 80s Movie Girl, Ward from Coventry, is that right? Yeah, that's it. Coventry, so Coventry City fan, as I remember. Uh, hello, Kim, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good, good, good. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for taking up the time. Thank you. Uh, what are your three top three 80s films? Uh, it's got to be Stand By Me, Goonies, and can I say Back to the Future Trilogy? Yeah, you get away with that, yeah. Thank yeah, you, Paul. Okay. <laughs> right, um, excellent. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you're going to be on Scott's team. Okay, and cool. on Paul's team is... Uh, sorry, Mark, you're on Paul's team. Um, it's uh, Mark <laughs> Phone Home Parslow from oh, Vista. <laughs> Mark, uh, obviously we know you very well, one of our friends, um, but what are your top three 80s films? I would, I would have said Goonies, that's already been said, but Karate Kid, probably. Nice. Predator. Nice, yeah. You'll be and friends to get, I'll probably go Robocop, just together. Nice. Scott, hey, like pause. We can have right, a game so- of movie maker later. Oh, yes, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Right. Okay, right, let's start then. Okay, question one. Uh, we're going to start with Ghostbusters as our first uh, podcast uh, way back in March, I think, wasn't it? Was it March? Cool, question one. Which Ghostbuster says everybody has three mortgages these days? Which Ghostbuster says everybody has three Three mortgages these days. Of course, there's answer. Kim's in. Yeah. Yeah, I've got their answer. Wow, I've okay. Got I'm actually written down the actor. Hold your answers up. And Scott, what do you say for What do you go for? Scott went for Bankman. Yep. Kim went for. Um, I went for Ray. Ray, oh, lucky. Hello. Mark went for Egon and Lucky. And Paul went for Bill Murray, so yeah, we'll let you have that one obviously, because that's uh okay, so so it's working. There's three retro movie, two of the retro movie geeks have got the question right. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well then okay, question two on Ghostbusters. Uh Lewis Tully introduces himself as Vince Clawfro. The what? Vince Clawfro, he was called the something. Ah, I don't know how to spell it. Well, I hope I've got the right answer then. It's the something. There was two names that I was sort of thinking about, and one was one, one was the other. Oh. I'd, be surprised, I'd be surprised if you can't spell it, but I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was getting the wrong film for a moment. Okay, I said, Scott, what's yours? Go, Scott has gone for Keymaster. And Kim? I didn't know. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Okay, no worries. Uh, Mark? You gone yeah, Keymaster? Key yeah. And Paul Keymaster. Okay, well done. I'll write down your points. Okay. You can probably actually hold them up and just tell me your answers. It'd, be, it'd probably be easier, won't it? Okay, question three. This is on the Goonies. And the question is, what is the name of One-Eyed Willie's ship? Yes. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go. So all these, all these questions I think we covered on the podcast, but they weren't in the quiz. So I tried to do it like that. 
I've got two kids in. This come up for my 10 minutes of revision I did just before. Oh, that's it. <clears throat> fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Just went for poor. I, I don't know. Okay. Scott, yeah. what was your answer? I ain't got a clue. I didn't know. Okay. Oh. Kim? Inferno. Correct. Yeah. Mark? Yeah, the Inferno. Yeah. Nice. Paul? No? Nothing. Didn't have a clue. Ah, they, they, beat, they beat you there, those two. Well done. Okay. Question four. In the Goonies, who's, who said Michael Jackson didn't come to my house to use the bathroom, but his sister did? Oh. Mm. In the Goonies, who said Michael Jackson didn't come to my house to use the bathroom, but what? his sister did? I tell you what, let's just read that. We'll just read out the answer instead of, instead of, write, instead of writing down. I, tr I trust you all. You all look very trusting. <laughs> Apart from Paul. Maybe Paul, you should write it. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Scott, you went for mouth. And Kim, you went for? Chunk. Junk, which is the correct answer. <laughs> Mark? Chunk. Chunk, nice. Paul? Well, I, I've forgotten his nickname for a moment, but I'll put I'll put Lawrence. Lawrence, yeah. with junk, yep. You remembered his name, but not his actual name. <laughs> yeah, well, I think they only mentioned Lawrence once, and that was the policeman. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well done. Okay, next question. Paul's favourite film, in case no one knows. Oh, it's sweet. Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> yeah. It's Back to the Future. Okay, question on Back to the Future. At the beginning of the movie, how many minutes slow are Doc's clocks? Yeah, if I say oh. that. Doc's clocks. Quite a tough question, that. At the beginning of the movie, how many minutes slow are Doc's clocks? Scott gone 15. Paul, 15. Mark and Kim. Twelve. Twelve. Mark? I'd have said five. Five. It was 25 minutes. Ah. Unlucky, everyone. Um, I hope it wasn't. Anyway. Sure? That was from memory, but I'm sure it was. <laughs> okay. okay, next question. It's finish the line. Well, fill in the blank. Uh, this is set in a cafe, and it's Lorraine, my... Something has brought me to you. I got it. I got it. I know. I know. And it's said by. It's said by. Um, oh, who says it? I can't think now. Um, this is Dad. My no. Dad, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He goes up to. It says the rain. My blank has brought me to you. And it's got to be bang on right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Scott's in. Kim's in. Oh, it's okay, got to be Right, Scott, you know what answer is? Density, correct. Yes. Correct. Oh, no, I'll put destiny. Yeah. Oh, it's density. It's density. Yeah. Can't have it, Paul. I'm strict. Kim got a point. Maybe it's my spelling. Maybe I can have a look at my spelling. What do I put? Destiny or didn't? Yes, it's dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> what did pass? Uh, what did Mark go for? I say Mark. I, I put space man. But... Space man. Okay, sorry. I keep calling you Mark. I've never called you Mark in my life. But... Who's actually really keeping track of the? Uh... I know Robert. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, I got the I got the scores here. I think I have anyway. I don't know what's going on. Really. Right. Okay. Next question, which is on Return of the Jedi. Ooh. Can I just this get me off? This was our fourth film, which you can still go back and listen to. Okay. Question number seven. Quite an easy one. Who killed Jabba the Hutt? Wow. <laughs> Chip, hmm. 
New Cube, Joe that. Well, it's only easy if you know it, I suppose. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, everyone in? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, cool. Uh, Scott has gone for Leah, correct. And Kim? Leah. I got that wrong. And Never. Solo. Oh, that's a good guess. It was close. <laughs> Paul? Luke. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Um, I uh, think I might have spelled it wrong, but yeah, Princess Leah. Yeah, yeah correct. Yeah. Well done. Uh, next one, a little bit harder. Question eight. When in carbonite, Jabba refers to Han as his favourite what? Uh, Frozen chicken nugget. Ooh. It's tough, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of two. One of two. Uh, Jabba says, he's my favourite. Well, it's one of two things. I think you mentioned it on the podcast, Scott, because I did have it as a question, but I didn't use it because you mentioned it. Yeah, I exactly. It's quite tough. It's a tough one. I wouldn't have got this. And I went to school. <laughs> no? Okay. Don't worry if you don't got it, Scott. Um, de decoration or wall okay. decoration. Yeah, decoration is correct. Anyone else get decoration? No. No, okay. No. Well, Scott and Kim. I, I, I put some. Yeah. It's quite close, this actually. This is close. I'll give you a quick. It's 8 7 at the minute, so it's very close. Um, next question. Question nine was on uh, the podcast, was on Gremlins. And the question is How many dollars did Billy's dad pay for Gizmo? It's tough. Uh, hmm. It's a tough one. I'll give you a clue. It's between 150 and 350. It's between that. Oh, that's my, <laughs> my guess is going to be between that, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned it. We definitely mentioned it in our broadcast. Could be said that the lad ran it off and got a Nintendo with the money. <laughs> it's tough. Okay, Scott. Yeah, two hundred dollars. Kim. Two fifty. Two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty. Mark. I went two hundred as well. I went two hundred. It was two hundred. Hey. Two hundred dollars. There's some guesses there as well, isn't there? That's a good guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I Kim just say something? Watching Scott doing this, yeah. it's like watching Blankety Blank. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have, I someone got a big card, they write his name down and then holds <laughs> yeah, it up. It does feel like it, <laughs> That was, was Rob's think, idea, I think. I was trying to think which quiz it was, which was reminding me of. All right, okay, well done. <laughs> Question 10. What was the name of the lady who went flying through the roof? Oh. Fairly. Right. Oh. Oh shit. Miss Mrs. Something. I'm looking Miss, for a surname. Mrs. Oh. And it's, nah. it's just it's just flashed up. We've got ten minutes, so we will run out of time and I'll just whack it back on. <laughs> That's incredible. Um <laughs> oh my Mrs. God. Um, my mind's gone blank. <laughs> Okay, everyone in? Okay, Paul, have you got it? Mrs. Mangle. Mrs. Mangle. Oh, it's very Thanks. close. That's close. Thanks to the era. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, I, I think this one came from my revision as well. I'm pretty sure it was... Um, Mr. Deagle. Deagle. Mr. Deagle. Deagle, oh, God. Kim, did you get it? No. No. From that it's reaction. brown. It was brown. <laughs> Go on. No, I ain't got it. No, just, just. I mean, Deagle. Well <laughs> oh, it was Mrs. Deagle. Well done, no, Mark. I didn't get that. Don't put that down as a point. I was joking. No, just for Mark, okay. Well done, Mark. 
Mark's on my team. Question six, we're halfway. Question six is the Transformers. Ooh. Scott, he's going to do well on this one. If you don't get these two right, Scott, then, well. Careful what you say, because I didn't get either of the Back to the Future ones right. (laughs) No. (laughs) Question 11, what is the boy's name in the film? Question 11? Yeah, I think so. Hope so. What is the boy's name? As a young boy, I think the dad was called Spike, and the boy is called Lee. <laughs> <laughs> Majors. <laughs> yeah. Okay, everyone want to go? Right, um, let's go, uh, Mark. What was your answer? You know? I went Ray, just a guess. Ray, good eighties name. It's not yeah. Paul. Spengler. <laughs> Kim? No. Max. Max. Unlucky. It is Daniel and well, Scott. I wouldn't have got that. Yeah. Question 12. Blank, 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 blank. <laughs> Question 12. Uh, Leonard Nimoy, Dr. Spock, voices which character? Oh, I know. Good. <laughs> yeah. I, I try to think what Transformers I can actually think of apart from Optimus Prime. I again wouldn't have got this. I know the music didn't match the scenes, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's go. Kim, do you know this one? It is a tough one. The blue one. <laughs> The blue one. He it, it was. He, he's kind of blue, purple, grey. I know. I, oh, I would love to give it you, but I can't. But I know Scott's going to get anyway. Mark. I was going to guess Soundwave, but Soundwave. Good guess. Paul. I'd put Megatron. Oh, it's close. But well, the answer. Galvatron. Ah. Galvatron. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Correct, it is Gavatron. Gavatron, Gavis gone. Gavis okay. gone. <laughs> <laughs> Next film with Batman. How long have we got? Five minutes. In there. Okay, Batman. Okay, question 13. What is Alfred's surname? <laughs> Spelling. What is Alfred's surname? God knows it. They actually filmed the spin-off series to this part. There's a whole spin-off series <laughs> yeah. named after this, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, didn't know that. Well, you wouldn't. It's not in the 80s or 90s. Uh, <laughs> 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 no one know? Yeah, I know. Uh, okay, do a Right, okay. Um, Paul, do you know? No. No, okay, Mark. Pennyweather, I think. Pennyweather? Is Pennyworth... Is it? Sorry, I don't know what I got excited. And Kim, did you have that? So- no. no I was near it, what the other guy said. Oh, okay, well then, unlucky. <clears throat> yeah, it's Pennyworth. Pennyworth. Uh, <laughs> uh, unlucky, Scott. I'll just add up the scores. It's quite close, though, actually. <laughs> okay. Next question is... Yeah, we get one more in before I have to reset. Question 15 is on Raiders of the Lost Ark. And it is, in what year does the movie take place? In what year? Ooh. Happened? Uh, Not when it was made. What year? It flashes up at ooh. the start. Oh, I'm going to go that, but I think I might be a year out. That's a good question. That was a really good question. I can no, give it. No one's got it. I can give it. No, no, no clue. No clue. No clue. It was nineteen something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cheers, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Paul, only Paul would have been a, around in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's not right. That's not right. Get my age joke in, Paul. That ain't right. Yeah, cheers, mate. <laughs> little, no. little does anyone know I was the inspiration that. character in Indiana Jones. <laughs> 
What year does the movie take place? Change my guess quickly. Okay, everyone, have a guess if you don't know. Scott, 1938. What else we got? 43. 43. 38, 43. I guess 1953. 1953. And the correct answer is what? 1936. 1936, correct. Ooh. Well done, Paul. Do you know what else I've done that year? <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate your okay. 30th birthday? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, question 60. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just let you know, it's one point in it as well, so it's very close. Mm. Okay, question 16. What is the name of Indy's love interest? <sighs> what is the name of Indy's love interest? Mm. Or what is the name of the lady? You... Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. For some reason, I've got this name in my head. <laughs> okay. Mm. I'll give you a few more seconds. Everyone got an answer? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kim, what are you going to go for? A random name, Karen. Karen. Oh, I would have said Karen, actually. It's not okay. Uh, Mark? I went Diana. Diana. Oh, these are all sort of names you would think it would be, wouldn't you, in an 80s film before? I'd just say it, but I'd put Sheila. Sheila? Good day, <laughs> mate. Scott? I've got Marion. <gasps> have you, have you got, what have you got? Marion. Marion. Yeah. yeah, correct. It is yeah. Marion. Is it? Uh, yeah. Marion is the correct answer. Well done. Okay, next film. Three men and a baby. Question 17. Steve Guttenberg plays which character? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> it's not should Jesus. Know, should, should know this, shouldn't you? But it's just yeah. like, I, he plays Steve Guttenberg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I always had trouble knowing who was who, even when we were talking about I, actually, I can I couldn't name any, all, any of their names. Oh. Tom Salik, then uh, Ted Hansen. Do you want me to give you their three names? No, 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 I've got it. I'll finish it. Keep quiet, Rob. My partner. Oh, Penny Webber's got this. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Steve Guttenberg played which character in Three Men and a Baby? Everyone okay? No. Okay, Scott, you passing? Have a guess. I am going to have to pass. No. Okay. Kim? I I could only think of this name, and I know it's not him, but I'll say it anyway. Peter. Peter. Not him. There was a Peter in there, wasn't there? That's Tom Tom, Selleck. Tom 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 Selleck, Peter. Well done. Okay, Paul, have you got one? Well, it's just suddenly come to me, Michael, but I'm thinking, I haven't read it down, because yes. it's just come to me, Michael. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mark? Yeah, it's Michael. Michael. It is Michael. Yeah. I don't think I'd have got that. Excuse so, me. Point but then I thought, when, I, when I thought Michael, I then thought, no, that's Ted Danson, but... That was yeah. Jack. He was Jack. Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, Jack. Well okay, three films to go. and Ooh, that's, That puts us two in front then, pals. Well, he's in, eh? Um, podcast number 10 with E.T. And question 19 is what was E.T.'s... What was E.T.'s... Shortfall. Sure <laughs> <laughs> what was E.T.'s... What was his shortfall? Sure what was E.T.'s final words before he buggered off on the ship? Oh, what was his my Final God. few words... I think I know. I think I got it. Think. Think. He thinks. Oh my God. Mark, have you got an answer? 
He's very no concerned. idea. No, no idea. idea. Okay, uh, Scott, you hold oh, on. You got yours? Yeah, go on, go for it. Scott, be was, good. Be good. Paul, be good. Mark, you not got one? I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Kim, be right here. And the correct answer is be right here. Well done, Kim. Be right here. Oh. Be right here. Yep. Yeah. Be good. He does say be good, doesn't he? I think he says that to um, what's the girl in it? Drew Barrymore. Drew Barrymore. That's the. That's the that yeah. Okay, a little bit more of a trickier one. Question twenty on ET. What word was ET trying to spell on the speak and spell? <sighs> that's quite tricky, isn't it? He was trying to spell a word. Oh. Pepperoni pizza. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. Three retro movie geeks. I don't think anyone's got, anyone got this one. Stumped you all. It's the first one no one's got, I think. I've written something down, but... Or did we not get the first one? I don't know who got the one, yeah. Anyway... Okay, no one know? I'll just put phone home. Phone home. Anyone else want to have a guess? Nah. Jim, have you got an answer? No, Mark, no, okay. It was nuisance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a bit weird, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> okay, question 21, Ghostbusters 2, which we've done, which is our quite recently. Still available to listen to. Um, Ghostbusters 2. Question 21. What did the judge... Uh, what's my writing say? Oh, yeah. What did the mm. judge convict the Scaleri brothers of? Uh, um, yeah. <laughs> Bear in mind they got the chair. He does say it when they come out and he goes under the desk. He says, Scalary Brothers, like, convicted them. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Don't need to think about this one too hard. He's got it. Yeah, the more you think about it. they got an electric chair for something. Uh, everyone got an answer? Okay, he's got murder. There's been a murder. It's been a murder. murder. Kim? Yeah, murder. Murder. Mark? Yeah, murder. Murder, yeah. Point for everyone. Well done. Uh, Question 22 on Ghostbusters 2. This should be a little bit easier. What was the baby's name? What was Dana's mm-hmm. baby called? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Do you know this, Paz? No. I'd love to give you a clue. No clues. No, no conferring team. <laughs> Oh, pass. Uh, you both got your answer, Kim and Mark? Yeah. Think, yeah. Yeah, okay, go, Scott. Oscar. Oscar. Kim? Uh, no, Daniel. Daniel, Mark? I'll go Mary from Three Men and Little Baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, point for Scott, point for Paul. Well done. Okay, the final film which is out on Wednesday podcast out Wednesday isn't it Paul Crocodile yeah. yeah and it, it comes out on YouTube the night before yeah mm-hmm. the question number 23 on Crocodile Dundee why did Neville say Sue couldn't take his photo <laughs> this, might be tri- this could be tricky for the two listeners because they've not heard our podcast have they so Neville went to take no Sue went to take Neville's photo, and there's a reason he said you couldn't take it. Now, do you want 
Okay, there's potentially yeah. two reasons. Yeah, um, I want the actual reason why. Oh, the actual reason. Sorry, yeah, the actual reason. Yeah, good point. Oh. Sorry, I see what you mean there. I would have given it you. Can I get two points for both then? You can't, I'm afraid. <laughs> if you can empty the bins in the morning for me, on my side. <laughs> Okay, right. A little bit of a tricky one. Everyone got an answer? Yeah. yeah. Paul, what's your answer? The lens cap was on. Scott's got lens cap. Mark and Kim. I think I must have gone for the other answer. Is it? I put take his spirit away. Take his spirit away. Okay, so as I worded it like that, who oh, I'll give it you? No. Kim? Kim, I okay. didn't put anything. Yeah, it's because it's so. Uh, she thought it was going to take his spirit away, but she had, she had the lens cap on, and he said, "Yeah." Ah. Okay, let me just give points away here. Okay, final question. We could do twenty six questions. Hmm. Was it? Uh, yeah. What is the twenty six questions? I know. Oh, I got that wrong. Twenty four. Yeah. Okay. Question twenty four. Crocodile Dundee, and it's our diehard link of the quiz. <laughs> Reginald Val Johnson played the limo driver. What was his name? Wow. What was the name of Reginald Val Johnson's character? He was a chauffeur. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Okay, everyone got an answer? Okay, yeah. we're all in. Kim, are you in? You all right? One second, give, give a couple of seconds. It's all right. Yeah. Scott, does that paper smell nice? Mmm. Yeah. That's the pen. Oh. <laughs> okay, um, Kim, what have you got? Can you remember his name? Jeeves. Nope. Mark, you got one? Oh, oh Ray again. Ray. <laughs> Is your middle name Ray? <laughs> so I went. I also went Ray to, for oh, some reason. Right? Yeah. Oh, that's weird. And um, Paul's got it right with Gus. Gus. Oh, uh, well done. Went. Well done. Okay. Well, then I should just quickly take up the scores. Talk about yourself. You add. <laughs> no, not really, to be honest. Do, do, do. Don't say it's a draw. I had a no, it's not. <laughs> I had a tiebreak question ready. Uh, okay, it's one point in it. Oh, oh yeah. The tiebreak is, question yeah. was how many million did ET make? But I don't have to worry about that because it's not a tiebreak. Um, we'll just wait for Scott unless he's this. Is, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm just yeah. I mean, okay. Yeah, okay. This week. <laughs> <laughs> right okay one point in it and the scores were Scott and Kim had 18 points <clears throat> Paul and Mark had 19 points oh wow Whoa. well done that is a turn up well done good job Pulled I got the best right yeah well, it's a <laughs> tiebreaker at least one of us watching Crocodile Dundee was it 300 million <laughs> Um, 792 million. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All together with the clay. What yeah, are we talking about? Rob's like... bank balance. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> right, well done. Well done, everybody. Um, a prize. Uh, I haven't got a prize, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about you can choose a film for us to do, Mark? How about that? Okay. We, we got we got two Christmas ones coming up, and then maybe a couple of ones from each of us in the pipeline. But you can uh, you can both. Well, choose, I'll, I'll both give you two. two. I'll give you two, and it's up to I'll you. I tell you what, 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 just both choose one. So Mark choose one, yeah. Kim choose one, and then we put it on the list. Okay. Have a look. And so they'll go for it. Go on then. What's yours, Mark? I'd go for either Predator or Karate Kid. Okay, which one you want to go? Want to go Predator then? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Put it on the list. And Kim, what would you like? Uh, it'll have to be stand by me. Nice. Yeah. 
That is two we have been talking about as well, so that works well. I'm glad no one said dirty dancing. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, we'll add those films to the list. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you everyone. And the final scores were Scott and Kim on 18 points and Paul and Mark on 19 points. So well done. Woo! Okay. Uh, thank you, Kim. <laughs> it's again the two Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. <laughs> Join us. Paul, we can't see you. You've got off camera, but well done. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, there he is! Yay! I haven't gone anywhere. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> right, see you later. Keep it away, Bye. 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 B